All right, we're continuing on with more of Stukov Let's Play on Brutal. We just got the Brood Queen, so I'm kind of excited to try that out. Um, I think that must come from the starport, right? Yeah, it comes from the starport, okay. And I wanted to switch this like I thought I did, but I guess it didn't check. So yeah, bunkers are pretty cool, but I just, I'm just not super excited about Stukov. He's okay, Oakley, he's okay. I mean, he, he's nothing special yet. I think some of the later upgrades turn him into a pretty good attack force. My big problem is, is the tanks don't do enough as much damage as I would like them to. And um, the infested marines just have so much utility if you can keep your barracks moving forward. So, oh, here comes the vermilion problem. So I'm honestly thinking for this map, move all of my racks to the middle island where all the expansions are and just go from there. Um, because there's no creep tumors, the creep just keeps expanding even in the lava, right? This now must be Avatar, right? Yeah. Various forces. The plan is to have workers gather xenon crystals to restore the environmental stabilizer. But is that the whole story? Earlier, an unknown enemy technology destabilized the The thing that's really killing me about Astukov is I can't really utilize my high, P high APM very much. I feel like I'm just sitting here watching buildings build way too often. My big thing is, it's so funny that they say that he's for advanced commanders. I mean, I guess I could see. I keep trying to select Larva, then make it Overlord, because I'm so used to Zerg builds. And that's not how you do that, you just make the Overlord. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm just going to do infested marines like crazy. Like, where do I even send these? Wh where do I send these troops? You know? What do I do with these, these first set? Do I, like, try to do something over here? What's, I mean, should I, I probably should have waited, right, and not let that go? Right, I probably should have turned off the autocast. Let's 
stands in our way. Dude, I love the look of that pumpkin though. And a Mongolisk is ready for spawning. I gotta tell you, it does look pretty freaking awesome. Oh god, I can't do it without creep. I forgot about that. Mutation complete. Oh, he's making creep for me. Oh, he's making creep for me. Oh, exciting. Another quake. Another lava surge coming soon. Trust Donny Vermillion to get you the updates you need. Really killed him that fast? You do ridiculous damage versus light, don't they? My god, that's so crazy. 33 damage versus light? Is that not absolutely ridiculous? Like, how, what am I supposed to do against that? God, these freaking uh, scouts are killing me right now. Allied forces in combat. Come 
even like all of my units that actually would do something against these, I can't even make. Alright, so I have all the upgrades for the um, infested civilians. Those scouts are just wrecking my forces. Okay, so at least the next time around... Hey, thanks for the follow! I'm glad you're enjoying the stream! Gemonite? Or Gemonite, maybe? So, I think I might make a couple um, liberators. Allied forces in combat hive cluster. Guess I might as well make a couple queens. Mutation complete. It seems 
My structure requires more infestation. Swarm forces under attack. Kills to target enemy ground or air unit. Okay. Alright, we're giving ourselves time, which is nice. So next time, I think I'm going to be going for, I guess, the Salamander? It looks like the surge is over for now, but when the burning tides rise again, we'll be there. Um, let's get everybody out of here. The stabilizer is nearly charged. Can they make it? I'll be here. Yeah, that's the plan. Is next time, uh, next time I actually get to a spot, I wanted to wait for all these uh, forces to come together, and then I wanted to go for it. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking that the ship's probably going to be the best thing if you have to pick one. What you do, I'm like thinking. Um, The Ultra does shoot air, that's true. Please tell me they're going to spawn in time. Just enough. Of course, keep rolling. Its contributions to this fair city will never be forgotten. As quickly as it surges, the lava recedes. Now it's up to the workers to reach those new crystal formations in time. Allied forces in combat. Yeah, until you get, like, some of your later upgrades, I still feel like um, the racks are good. I mean, these queens are pretty freaking awesome.
Alright, those are the last three. God, I just... Oh, man. I just don't know how I feel about this whole thing. I mean, he's pretty darn powerful. I think that, I, I don't know, I'm really liking the Queens. I think they're a great unit. Because they attack air and ground units. The only thing that they don't do for you is the fact that um, you can't kill hero units. But your infested uh, marines are more than enough to take care of that. Yeah, you can't broodling archons, you can't broodling ultralists, you can't broodling bad, uh, battle cruisers, you can't do carriers. Any big hero unit. Yeah, so that does suck. They're still good units. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He, he's an okay commander. I I think that I'm slowly getting the upgrades I need to start transitioning from mass barracks to other things. I mean, right now, I'm loving... I think I'm actually appreciating. Well, hey, sorry, did Jess, did you want to, did Jess or anybody, did you want to, anybody want to partner up? Um, the queue times have been pretty slow, but I figured I'd ask anybody. Um, again, I'll, I'm going to be Stukov, but if anybody wants to partner up for a little while, please let me know. Again, at the moment, I still feel like the coolest build that is, um, coolest build for right now is still going to be the mass barracks. I still like that whole kind of feeling. I still like spamming like 150 of them. Um, and as long as you move your barracks to the location you really want to be, they're not. it's not that bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's still an okay commander. I still like him. But anyways, I'm going to say stop a little, little bit of this video and just say if anybody's new to the stream make sure to hit that follow button I do stream quite often um, and if you're new to the channel which is if you're watching this on YouTube make sure to hit that subscribe button yeah I'm still trying to decide how many bunkers to make because they're really powerful structures they really are especially when you upgrade them But, like, I'm at the point with Stukov where I feel like the only thing um, that Stukov has to deal with immediate things is his Ultralisk? No, wait. Thoralisk? What the hell do they call that thing? I'll have to look it up. Uh, so that's a thing that you can spawn at any moment and take care of things. This is going to be a, this is a great... These smaller maps are great for Stukov. I'm just going to mass massive amounts of gateways, or sorry, um, barracks, and just go with that. See, that's the, that's the uh, mastery points that I was thinking about doing. So it's either you have more units, or you have a chance of them being exploded units, which, I don't know, exploded units are pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, yeah, have a good one, Jess. I'll see you when you come back. That's true. I've done that numerous. I've done that a couple different times. Oogie boogie. Like I'm still one of the better games that I played was on the Rifts to Core Hall mission, and I built like you know eight 
barracks. I had five bunkers and like five siege tanks and then five missile turrets. And I just kept moving those forward up and up over and over again. Um, like on this mission, I'll probably put all of my buildings here in the middle. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. And then I'll just kind of build from there. Uh, so I think it would be helpful to have a couple of bunkers, siege tanks, and whatnot. And then you can just keep moving those forward as you need to. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and I'm also going to move the infested columnist compound to the middle as well. One nice thing. Hey Hyperion XV, or Hyperion 15, if that's how you want to be called. How you doing? Oh, has anybody else been noticing any lag or stuff like that on Twitch? I do want to make some of the infested queens, though. Hive cluster under direct oh, I can't forces really... in combat. The hell are you? Oh, he couldn't make it through there. No wonder why he went around. Oh, that makes so much more sense. I'm like, why on earth did he do that?
<laughs> they really are derpy looking. Uh. So I plan on just making um, barracks units and um, Evolution completed. and then uh, Stargate units, not Stargate, Starport units. Yeah, the, um, how's it called? Apocalypse is actually a pretty cool unit. Swarm forces under attack. Man, how many of these thrashers are they going to spin? Better get ready to handle them. I just got to wait for them to have enough energy to do me spawn. Duhick. The spawn the Duhick command. It's called a Duhick, right? Swarm forces under attack. These foolish enemies seek to storm my base. Is there anything else I want to get? Get that. Ready to go. Mutation complete. The Void Thrashers are on the field. Take them out, Commanders. All right, so I can do the fun stuff. Ah, these queens take forever to build up enough energy.
establish a defensive perimeter. Enemy forces are moving towards our base. Void Thrasher slaughtered. Oh, I can't do reavers, can I? Sequences spawn. Yeah, they count. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, they count. Many of my investors have fallen. Start off by using a couple of shots of this. What's super nice about um, having all my buildings right here <laughs> is I have all of my buildings right here. I don't think I'm really going to have enough time to do anything with, um... Uh, more queens, because they're just going to take forever to build up that energy. Here come the thrashers, commanders! Let's light them up! I do not take kindly to intruders. Our enemies will learn that soon enough. All right, let's make a ginormous army. Uh, let's see if the enemy dares to strike the town three. Where, where is all of his forces? They'll die. There goes my all my forces. Queens made a lot more sense when I was going up against less hybrid characters. You know what? I think I think I might change it to the apocalypse. I haven't tried the last one, the Alexander. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Alexander. I don't know. I mean, that this um, apocalypse is pretty freaking awesome. So one of the things that, you know, someone brought up in chat about not always moving the psi emitter. Uh, it can always help you to do that, to move that psi emitter a lot, but 
I've kind of talked about it in the past, that especially with like commanders like Zagar, where you can just constantly be spawning units constantly. Having a line of units isn't necessarily as good as rallying to a spot and then moving them all at the same time. Now, if you're going up against AoE, that could be a bad thing. So it all depends on what's going on. But yeah, it's something that's really can be no really good for you is moving the Siameter. Um, but don't move it too much because you don't want to just keep sending small amounts of units to things because you will might do a little bit of damage but you're not going to do as much as if you send like big forces. But anyways, that was eight to nine. We just unlocked the rest of the factory tech labs. Armor targets and the time next. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited about the trail of slime because I think that'll really help for the trains missions. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching.